Sometimes you don't feel like following up. More like, is there really a human being out there that enjoys following up with people that didn't buy from them the last time they spoke? What if I don't want to follow up on this one prospect too hard because maybe I don't want to seem too desperate, too pushy. Maybe I want to wait a day or two before following up with them. Let me tell you, that will cost you thousands every month. In a lifetime, it's going to cost you millions because you'll lose eight or nine deals out of every 10 as a result of not following up or not following up enough. Follow-up can be tough, and the easiest way to get started is by immediately sending an email or a text to everyone that you want to sell something to. If you do, what I'm about to share with you, you're going to sell an extra two to three motorcycles every single week. If you do this exactly as I'm going to share with you, your unsold prospects will start reaching out to you, which really decreases the amount of follow-up that you have to do every day. Why does this work? Every single person that you've spoken with, whether it was in person, over the phone, through a text message, or an email, wants to buy what you're selling. You can't tell me that anyone that you've had a conversation with does not want to own what you have. Sure, you've got prospects that have told you, I'm just shopping around. I, I've got to talk to my spouse, check with the boss, save up for a down payment. Those are just excuses to buy them some time. Every prospect out there knows that most salespeople will either say something stupid or totally give up once they hear any of those words come out of their mouth. I know that it's impossible to sell every prospect the first time that you talk to them. It's also impossible to sell all of them, but when your prospect leaves, it's time to follow up. Not a day later, not a week later. It begins within minutes of your first conversation with them. The reason why is because no matter what they told you that they were going to do, they were lying. They didn't mean to lie. They really are thinking about buying from someone else. They really are getting a bite to eat while they're on their way to their next salesperson. When you have those prospects that leave to shop, to get a bite to eat or go home and think it over, you have to follow up with them as quickly as possible as within minutes. If you have their cell phone number, then send them a short text message like, hey, Cindy, I really appreciate you dropping by today. This is my cell number for, for other questions that you may have. Tommy, that's it. If this person was a walk-in customer, that's what I'm sending to them within minutes of them leaving. For my phone app, I'll send a text like this. Hey, John, I appreciate your time on the phone today. This is my cell number for other questions that you may have. Tommy. For an internet lead that left a phone number, I tried calling them. Couldn't get them to answer. I'll send them a text message too. It's going to say something like, hey, Cindy, got your email about the motorcycle. I sent an email with the info. Wanted to make sure you got it. This is my cell number in case it's easier for you to text or talk. Tommy at ABC Motorsports. This simple text will make your follow-up life so much easier because of the science behind it. You're not selling with a text like this. You're not asking your prospect to buy. You're not telling them that you're the lowest price, that you give the best trade values, nothing like that. You are doing what no one else is doing. You're saying thanks, saying you appreciate them. This is the first one. Now, when you do this, they not only remember it, but it makes it that much easier for them to reach out to you. It's reciprocity. You gave it first. Now you've made them that much more comfortable when it comes to giving it back. We start following up immediately following the first time I've talked with the prospect. And that's when we start getting after them. And we know that by doing this, this will also decrease the number of people that would normally try to ghost us. People don't want to make decisions. When you follow up, it needs to be strategic. It, it can't be like whatever you feel like saying or sending or what you think is right for that particular person. I just do the same thing every single time because we know it works. If you're going to do this, you have to send it immediately following your first conversation with your prospect. It's not a message that you should send hours later. It's immediate and it works. It's also not the only one. If you want the next step to make follow-up easier, subscribe to my channel and take a look down below this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you click the like button and subscribe. If you've got any questions about any of the content that I covered in this video, just leave a comment and I'll answer your question. So go ahead, click subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.